Some time ago, I disassembled this old VCR and found many interesting parts inside. One of the parts was this motor from the tape mechanism. Making these motors work is really complicated, but I will convert it to a pulse motor by adding some neodymium magnets and an external coil to make it work. The first thing I'm going to do is to take off this part that is not useful. It is a high quality motor, it has very good bearings. I will use these two blocks from a Jenga game and glue them to the bottom of the motor to form a base. Ok, this is the rotor of our pulse motor. I have glued the wood to the bottom so it is now free to move and I have also glued the neodymium magnets with epoxy glue the magnets are equally spaced apart. There is 120 degrees among each pair of magnets. Two magnets on each side. The magnets are neodymium, 12 millimeters in diameter and 3 millimeters in wide. I have added a magnetic switch or reed switch to the circuit this switch is normally open, does not permit the flow of current, but when a magnet is near the switch, it closes and permits the flow of current. I have also built this electromagnet, it is a solenoid of around 1500 tons of magnet wire size 32AWG. When we energize the electromagnet, we will have a magnetic field here with the same polarity of the magnet and they will repel each other. It will push the magnet away and the rotor will rotate. Let's see if we connect a battery. You can see how the rotor moves. We have everything connected, so let me explain how the motor works. When the rotor is in this position, the magnet is close to the reed switch and the switch closes. So the electricity flows from the positive through the solenoid, then goes through the reed switch, which is closed, and the current goes there to the negative and the circuit is complete. So we have the solenoid activated, its magnetic field pushes the magnet away and the motor rotates. The magnet is now away from the switch and then the switch opens and no current flows through the solenoid. But the rotor continues to rotate because it has inertia and then another magnet goes into position, the switch closes again, there is another push from the solenoid and the process continues. So this is called a pulse motor because it works by pulses of magnetism from the solenoid or electromagnet. We have here a diode and the function of the diode is to absorb the voltage that is produced. We have a spike of voltage when the solenoid opens. When the current stops flowing there is a large spike of current from the solenoid and the diode absorbs that spike. Let's now see how the motor works.
Let's measure the rotation speed of the motor with the tachometer. We get a value of around 1200 RPM, but this value must be divided by 3 because the laser touches 3 points on the rotor. So the rotation speed is around 400 RPM.